हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एज यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इट्स नाइट नाइस टू टीच यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड हेल्दी एज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम अ न्यू बुक स्टूडेंट एज यू ऑल नो एनिमल्स ऑप्टेन फूड फ्रॉम दिस सराउंडिंग्स as different animals eat different kinds of food they eat at the plants or plant eating animal some animals like goat deer eat plants food like grass and leaves directly every one on earth is dependent on some other thing for the survival let's read the chapter food and feeding habit of animal follow the paragraph all living things need food to grow and to live animals are living things they do they too need energy to move around and work food gives them all the energy they need they need food to remain healthy as see the picture given below Look at the picture given below. The picture shows that different animals eat different types of food in a farm. Like you can see, hen is eating grain. Like cow, like mm, cow eats grass. Cat used to drink milk. Many more animals are there. Now see the sources of food for animals. Animals obtain food from the surroundings. Different animals eat different types of food. Some animals eat plants and their parts. Some animals eat the flesh of other animal. Some eat both plants as well as flesh of other animals. This shows that even flesh-eating animals depend indirectly on plants for their food. Like here, di uh, diagram shows that uh, grass is eaten by goat, and goat is been eaten by tiger. This process continues each and every day. Let's read. the types of animals based on feeding habit according to the feeding habits animals are classified into groups like herbivores carnivores omnivores and scavengers we will read what is herbivores some animals like cow goat buffalo sheep horse deer monkey and elephants eat grass and green plants they called herbivores or plant eating animals animals like uh, cow goat buffalo they used to eat grass they are known as herbivores they only eat grasses they depend on plants like small small plants in the field they are known as herbivores now the second one carnivores some animals like tiger wolf cheetah lion fox et etc et eat the flesh of other animals these are name of some animals which depends on flesh of small animals they are called carnivores or flesh eating animals third one omnivores some animals like cat dog human beings bear and crow eat both plants as well as flesh of other animals student as you all know human beings are also uh, known to be omnivores because they used to eat uh, plants leaves and also the flesh also they are called omnivores like here bear bear and crow they used to eat 
both the things cat and dog also they are they also eat both things flesh also and plants plants also the fourth one scavengers some animals like hyena vulture etc feed on dead and decaying animals they are called scavengers some of uh, some of the animals they depends on dead and decaying animals like examples are given a hyenas and vultures they feed on dead dead animals now see this uh, ex small exercise is been given think and write uh, we will do this fill in the blanks first one plant eating animals are called herbivores second one flash eating animals are called carnivores third one animals that eat both plants and animals are called omnivores fourth one animals that eat dead and decaying animals are called scavengers students do in your book Now we will come to the next paragraph food for domestic animals you all know what are the domestic animals domestic animals are very uh, useful to us they do a lot of hard work domestic animals are those animals which we keep we, which uh, we keep with us they do a they, they do a lot of hard work we should take care of their food requirement to keep them healthy and active animal uh, like some of the examples are given animals like donkey oxen elephants camels horses etc do heavy work like carrying loads walking in farms they need more energy they must be fed with energy giving food like oats and grams these are the names of some animals which are used for work uh, like uh, given in the picture see uh, bulls are bull bullock cart is is used and donkey with a heavy load and elephant is also carrying the heavy load this way they, uh, this way these ad animals are being helpful for human being some animals like cows buffaloes and goats give us milk they must be fed with more milk producing food like grass and oil seeds now see the next heading feeding habits of animals different animals eat different types of food the feeding habit of an animal depends upon the type of food eat it the shape of its mouth the mouth parts jaws and teeth of the animal like uh, different animals depend on different types of food and according to that they have their jaws uh, and teeth let us learn about the feeding habit of different animals some animals chew and swallow their food herbivores like deer and giraffe eat grass and leaves De deer and giraffe depends on grass they have broad and flat sharp front teeth to cut their food cows mm, and buffalo etc first swallow the food without chewing it then after some times they bring it back to the mouth and chew it this activity is called chewing the cud as you all know student uh, cow used to uh, swallow the whole food whatever she take and then after some time she used to bring it back and then chew it this uh, this activity is known as chewing the cud 
elephant used the trunk to tear off grass and branches and put it in their mouth elephants have large grinding teeth to chew and grind their food they also drink water with the help of their trunk and um, see the next heading animals that swallow their food as a whole there there are uh, some animals like which usually swallow the whole food in one time like animals like frog snake and lizard do not chew their food they swallow food as a whole such animal do not have chewing teeth because they don't have teeth but they can open their mouth very wide from which they can easily swallow the whole food as see given in a diagram a snake is swallowing its food frog is eaten by the snake lizard has a long tongue to catch insects a frog catches insects with its tongue now see crocodiles and alligators have a large mouth you as you all have you must have seen the crocodile they have the large mouth they have large sharp and pointed teeth also this type of animal which come to drink water their teeth and powerful jaws help them to grab even big animals and tear their flesh they have very strong teeth which help them which help them grab even a big animal and they can tear them easily and eat it yes. some animals tear grind and chew their food as flesh eating animal like lions tigers wolf etc have long sharp pointed teeth to tear the flesh they have strong grinding teeth at the back of their mouth these help them to chew flesh and crack bone as you all know that lion and tigers and wolves are having very sharp sharp and pointed teeth they uh, they always used to eat flesh they depend on flesh on small animals as you, you as see uh, it's given in a figure also a tiger has a sharp long pointed teeth now see the next paragraph animals that gnaw what you all know what is gnaw animals like rats squirrels and rabbits have very sharp front teeth the front teeth are very sharp and big one such teeth are called gnawing teeth these teeth help them to bite nuts and fruits as uh, rats and squirrels and rabbits they usually eat with the help of front teeth because they are very sharp now come to another page now see this animal that take liquid food animals like cat dog lick water or milk with their tongue as you all know cat cats are very fond of milk and dog also used to use mostly used to drink milk this process known as licking now see the next one some animals suck their food animals like leeches mosquitoes bugs etc suck blood from the bodies of humans as well as animals they suck the blood with the help of the sucker butterfly and honey bee have long sucking tubes they suck nectar from flowers with the help of their sucking tubes called proboscis now student with the help of diagram you can easily differentiate between the lick and the suck 
see uh, see how the butterfly is sucking the nectar from the flower and one more thing leech sucking blood from the human leg you can easily find out how the leeches and the butterfly suck the uh, thing from the their need now we will read some of meanings from the words zone herbivore a plant eating animals carnivore a flesh eating animal omnivore an animal which eat both plants and animal scavengers an animal which eats dead and decaying animals now we will uh, do some revision here uh, some animal uh, sorry animals need food to grow to walk and to stay healthy animals depend directly or indirectly on plants for food animals can be classified as in four way herbivores carnivores omnivores and scavengers please learn the spellings of these four um, types of animal different animals have different eating habit domestic animals need special attention from us for their food as you all know domestic animals need proper care because they are hard working they are being used by us for our in our daily life now turn the page and we will do some um, exercises see exercises a student put a tick on the correct option the first one which of these will chew the cud a1 cow see the second one which animal swallows its food as a whole b1 cow which animal swallows its food as a whole there are three options given cat cow snake snake is a right answer the third one which animal sucks nectar squirrel butterfly lizard butterfly is a right answer the fourth one the animal should be given energy giving food hen camel goat camel is a right answer fifth one animals that you know are squirrels and rabbit the both are correct now is come to exercise b match the following cow choose the cud snake swallow the food as a whole elephant tears of grass with trunk frog catch an insect with tongue butterfly sucks nectar with proboscis now come to exercise c answer these questions answer the following question question number 1 why do animal need food answer animals need food to grow and to live they need energy to make around and work question number 2 what type of teeth do carnivores have carnivores are flesh eating animals question number 3 what do you understand by chewing the cud cows and buffaloes for swallow the food without chewing they after then after they bring it back to mouth and chew it this is this is called chewing the cud question number 4 what are scavengers answer animals like hyena vulture etc who feed on dead decaying animals are called scavengers question number 5 
हाउ डज अ स्नेक सोलो एन एनिमल विच इज लार्जर देन इट्स माउथ आंसर नंबर फाइव स्नेक सोलो एनिमल्स लाइक फ्रॉक बिकॉज दे डो नॉट हैव चुविंग टीथ एंड दे ओपन देअ माउथ वेरी वाइड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वॉट डू वी कॉल द सकिंग ट्यूब्स ऑफ बटरफ्लाई एंड हनी बीज आंसर सिक्स बटरफ्लाई एंड हनी बीज हैव लॉन्ग सकिंग ट्यूब्स दे सक नेक्टर फ्रॉम फ्लावर्स कॉल्ड प्रोबोसिस स्टूडेंट सी पेज नंबर फिफ्टीन यू विल बी डूइंग ऑन योर ओन बी वन एक्सरसाइज बी पेस्ट पिक्चर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हैबिवर्स कार्निवर्स ओमनिवर्स यू विल बी पेस्टिंग द पिक्चर और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ यू कैन ड्रॉ एंड सी एक्साइज एक्साइज सी कलर द स्लोगन सेव द टाइगर दिस ऑल्सो विल बी डन बाई योर साइड एंड सी दिस स्किल this is very interesting skill you will be writing in a small paragraph see what is this given what do you do with the left over food you will write in your own word the next time food is left over give it to bird stray dogs cows and cats you will be writing in your own words thank you students for the day stay connected with your studies and it's really nice to teach you all soon we will be come back to school